The latest in home gadgetry is on display in Chicago right now at the International Home and Houseware Show. Consumer reporter Steve Noviello has a look at the next generation of must-haves for your home. The Home and Houseware Show is the world's biggest gathering of industry insiders and media from more than 100 countries not open to the public, but we have access to what's inside. Starting with this right here from Williams Sonoma, these are West Blade graders. Now, what makes these different from other graders are instead of that kind of rigid design, these are totally smooth with a recessed blade, and that allows you to grate in both directions. It makes it more efficient. Now, because of this design as well, because it's so smooth, you can cut through fresh cheeses, you can even grate hard boiled eggs, slice them right up for a nice egg salad. Uh, the zester here will actually only cut the zest from the rind, not that bitter white stuff underneath. This whole collection starts at about $20. All right, next up over here from Cuisinart, this is their Hurricane Compact Juicing Blender. Breaks down whole fruits and vegetables, minces, herbs. The neat thing about this big blender performance, but take a look, you pop one of these on here and use it, and then you can just screw on one of these lids and it becomes a to-go cup, right? It even comes with different straws that you can use. So you can take it from the blender, right to go, nice, quick, and convenient, about $100. This I absolutely love. What a great idea. This is coming soon to market. These are the Moby pop-up measuring cups and spoons. Okay, the silicone cups pop back and forth to give you multiple cup sizes. So this size is a full cup. This side is just half a cup, right? You get it? So it's the two-in-one design here makes it really very, very convenient. The other thing I love about it is that the bright colors make it kind of easy to find in your drawer, unlike those old metal measuring cups and spoons that kind of get lost with the silverware. And because you need fewer of these, because they're two-in-one, there's less clutter. Uh, BPA, BPA free as well, starting at about $8. Next up, one of the big trends right now in coffee houses is that cold brew. Now this stuff takes quite a bit of time to make, but it's much less acidic than regular coffee, 65% less acidic in fact. So you steep at room temperature for 8 to 24 hours. The coffee though will stay fresh for up to 14 days. This is from Bialetti, their cold brew coffee maker. And finally, this is the zero water pitcher. Now we've talked about this before, so the product isn't new, but what makes it so different is this, the total dissolved solids tester. You can actually test the water, the drinking water in your home, then run the same water through the zero water pitcher, and it is effective in reducing uh, the contaminants in your water by about 99%. It is certified for the reduction of even hard metals, uh, making it uh, much more effective than a lot of the other similar looking products on the market. Links to all of these products and the International Home and Houseware Show itself right now on my Facebook fan page, and of course, on our station website. Killeen Middle School students are taking their music worldwide. They just released their first album on Spotify called Keely Music Productions 2017 Remixes. Last year, the school remodeled a classroom to equip it with three recording studios. Students can go in there, create their own music, and record it. Most of the equipment was donated from the Spotify house set up at last year's South by Southwest Festival. Spotify chose Keeley Middle School because of its one-of-a-kind music program. It's been 20 years since a mysterious pattern of lights appeared in the Phoenix sky. South by Southwest attendees are getting a chance to see those lights recreated in the Austin sky. Organizers used drones to recreate the sudden appearance of the lights to resemble what took place on March 13, 1997 in Phoenix. The reenactment was done to promote an upcoming found footage documentary called Phoenix Forgotten. It's about a group of teens who go to the Arizona desert after that phenomenon to find out the truth about those mysterious lights. One of the more widespread theories is that the lights have something to do with the hale Bob Comet, which was supposed to make an appearance that very night in 1997. And now here's a look at your entertainment options in Austin this week. Rodeo Austin continues with several big shows. Fits and the Tantrums are playing tonight out at the Expo Center. Tomorrow night is Bobby Bones and the Raging Idiots. Friday, the Randy Rogers Band and Sunday, Kenny Rogers. Tickets for all of those shows start at 20 bucks. The music portion of South by Southwest is underway and there's plenty of music to check out all week. 
Tonight, the Abbott Brothers are playing at the Moody Theater at ACL Live. Now, before the performance, there will be a worldwide premiere of the documentary, May It Last, a portrait of the Abbott Brothers. It was directed by Jeff Apatow. And if you can't make that screening, there will be another on Friday at the Zach Theater. Also today, South by Soup Fest, benefiting Caritas of Austin. Matt, the electrician, will play along with Betty Sue at Guerrero's Taco Bar on South Austin. It is 8.50 right now. We will be right back.